Hello friends, welcome to this online series of lectures on industry 4.0. So in this particular lecture, we are going to learn about the proposed framework of industry 4.0. So let's start. So before starting that, let's look into a typical example of a IBM proposed framework of industry 4.0. IBM is a leading manufacturer of PC, right, personal computers. So they have proposed a conceptual framework for industry 4.0. So let's look into it. So here, if you see their conceptual framework of industry 4.0, what do you mean by that? The framework will facilitate the implementation of industry 4.0. What are the ingredients of industry 4.0 and what are the enablers of industry 4.0? So let's look at them one by one. So starting with the <coughs> instrumented. What do you mean by instrumented? So the data what we are using here is being gathered with the help of sensors as well as the actuators. So sensors and actuators are the instruments right from where we get the data. Next in line with the interconnection. What do you mean by interconnection? Whatever the actuators are there, the sensors are there which are being incorporated into the devices, they are being interconnected, right? This connectivity will enable the data gathering. Next, we have the inclusiveness. What do you mean by that? It means that there is a context of industry knowledge which is backed up with the data. Then we have intelligent. That is the, one of the key ingredient of industry 4.0. What do you mean by that? That is the decentralized decision making. Whatever the data is gathered and is being analyzed, it is being used with the help of machine learning and artificial intelligence, right? For predictive modeling as well as the analytic purpose. Specific area of applications may be maintenance, right? Monitoring. All these area of application uses this kind of decision making, decentralized decision making. So these are the key ingredients of the industry 4.0 as a framework, right? Now, what are the key enablers? Starting with the design phase, if we talk about, first of all, we have the integration. Integrations of machines and processes is very easy with the help of industry 4.0 technology. Then we have prediction as we already discussed that we have predictive analysis based on this data analytics, which we are gathering with the help of the sensors and actuators. We can predict the machineries, right? We can also predict the market based on the product or services we are manufacturing or we are uh, giving. Then we have innovations possible because we are using advanced technologies in case of sensors, in case of this machineries, in case of the technology, supportive technologies of industry 4.0. There are chances of innovation. In the make phase, we have optimize, right? Optimize means we, these machineries and processes can self-optimize. Whatever the criteria are given for the manufacturing, these machines can self-optimize based on the parameters given to them, right? In fulfill, whatever the customer's demands are there, uh, whatever their fulfillment uh, uh, criteria are there, these uh, criteria can be fulfilled with the help of customization, mass customization of these machineries, right? Then we have extensions. Extensions mean the, means extending the intelligence of the machines. Machines, they are pre-built with this uh, machine intelligence, you can say, or you can say the machine learning, artificial intelligence, all these are incorporated into these <coughs> machineries. And when, now the future machineries that they are coming up with this kind of uh, capabilities, these are definitely the extensions for the industry 4.0. Then you have employ. Now, based on this skill uh, development and the requirement for this industry 4.0, we have varied uh, employment or you can see the employees that are needed for this industry 4.0, ranging from this data scientist, here it is written that application development, you have data scientists, right? And the network engineers are there. All these uh, employees, or you can say this skill uh, developers, these are needed for this industry 4.0. Then you have in use case, we have satisfied. Um, Basically, what it means that whatever the market demand is that the customers uh, demand is that you are satisfying based on this customization with the help of these advanced sensors technologies, advanced robotics, uh, supportive technologies, 
you are fulfilling the demand of the customers you are satisfying whatever the customer is demanding through this flexible machining then you have the safety since you are using the robotics right autonomous robotics advanced robotics you are creating a self uh, safe environment right for the workers as well as for the customers who are who will be using this kind of technologies right so that is a very good uh, feature of the industry 4.0 then you have sensory sensory in the sense that the touch for example different senses like say here it is written that voice for example auditory uh, sensing right sights like machine vision for example haptic touch um, feedback if you are uh, if you are taking for example if you have a robot which is assembling the uh, machinery or you can say the uh, different parts for that you need this kind of advanced sensing in the form of haptic uh, touch then you have the movement uh, let's say for example uh, if you want to move the raw material from one place to another place you will use this kind of gantry cane cranes or these robots uh, specifically for example agvs automated guided vehicles so these are some of the key ingredients and enablers of industry 4.0 <clears throat> So let's let's look into the impact of the design principles. We already discussed the design principles here and the top row. If you see these, the key design principles, this comprehensive list of design principles is given. Now, what does this chart uh, suggest is that there is a concurrence of design principles as well as the supportive technologies on the first column, which is shown. Right? As you will see here, this first column is the supportive technology. This is again the comprehensive list of the industry 4.0. technologies which are enabling the industry 4.0 these two concurrences of industry 4.0 supporting technologies as well as the design principles they both were and the impact uh, points are given here in the list right let's say for example uh, the design principles of let's say for the first one is the real time data management right that is the first one which is the key principle for the industry 4.0 we have interoperability virtualization decentralization or you can say decentralized decision making for the machineries as we talked about we already talked about these kind of design principles in the previous lectures we have agility right fast and uh, accurate response from this autonomous uh, vehicles or you can say robots we have service orientations whatever the services are being required you orient that uh, kind of the uh, machineries and processes you have the integrated business processes all the processes businesses uh, business processes are there they are integrated with the help of the computing technologies right so here for example if you see here ad adaptive robotics is there as a supportive technology it uses the agility right as as a as a design principle the major impact is the agility for example if you have the data analytics and artificial intelligence you have decentralized decision making is also there you have agility right as well as the service orientation so in this way you have if you see here this chart suggests the concurrence of the design principles as well as the supportive technologies this will enable the industry framework right whatever the proposed framework is there in the next slide we will be discussing this is definitely going to help in proposing the framework so let's talk about the proposed framework of industry 4.0 what can be the framework uh, to implement industry 4.0 so what is the key goal of a company let's say for a typical company they want to manufacture smart products or they want to deliver smart services right so starting with the data collections what the companies are doing they are integrating uh, the sensors and actuators so that they can collect the data that is the first peculiarity right second is once the data is collected they process the data right then you have the data management once it is collected right then it is processed and then it is managed right whatever the data is there it is wrangled right it is stored and storage is done for the data analytics further analysis of data is possible through the cloud computing so we will discuss that as well so talking about data collections how do you achieve that through the connectivity only right whatever the data is collected as we already see in the previous slides the advanced sensing technologies as well as the actuators 
what they enable is they try to uh, help us in collecting the data from the shop floor activities right so what are these technologies available right now <clears throat> first of all sensors are there uh, very advanced sensors are available right now mems for example micro electromechanical sensors are available right now rfid radio frequency identification devices are also available right for example fast tag if you have if you have heard of right at the toll taxes uh, for collecting the toll taxes it is already available in the market then you have rtls real time location system uh, based on the gps available right it is also available on the uh, nowadays in the mobile phones as well you have xr xr is the extended reality in the umbrella term of xr we have augmented reality virtual reality as well as this mixed reality right we will discuss this uh, technologies in detail in the further lectures right also we have the 5g technology mobile technology we have already introduced in india right so these are some of the technologies for the connectivity purposes next we have the cloud systems cloud systems we already discussed in the previous lectures where we have three major players amazon microsoft right and google which are providing the third party uh, as a third party for the manufacturer to store their data manufacturing data for example operations data and they also provide the analytics uh, platform as well right so here if you see the data analytics and cloud system <coughs> they are integrated right <coughs> excuse me then you have design principles as we discussed in the previous slide the design principles such as the real time data monitoring data processing is there interoperability is there information transparency is there these kind of <coughs> principles are also useful for the framework of the industry 4.0 these are the building blocks of the industry 4.0 implementation then we have the supporting technologies whatever the technologies we discussed the pillars of industry 4.0 for example simulation is there iot is there right augmented reality is there these are the supporting technology which help in building up the industry 4.0 framework so this is the overall framework of the industry 4.0 now enabling technologies of industry 4.0 <coughs> is done through integration now if you talk about cloud system and data analytics they are integrated into the day to day business processes right then you also have the communication all these devices all these manufacturing equipments right the processes they communicate with each other you can say m to m communication machine to machine communication is available with the help of this uh, integration as well as the communication protocols and standards which are laid by the some of the companies which are implementing the industry 4.0 then you have cyber security now here we are dealing with data right data transfer data management cloud computing so it is only a enabled if you have a secure platform if you have secure platform then you can easily conduct the day to day operations right this is enabled with the help of cyber security otherwise a huge amount of money as we have seen in the previous slides and previous lectures huge amount of money is lost due to hacking of this secure network so security specifically of this data networks is a necessity right then we have the networking networking is possible through connectivity and these technologies like sensors rfid we discussed rtls xr and 5g are already available in the market and through them we are networking all these devices machines right and the processes so that we can gather the data so overall if we talk about the proposed framework of industry 4.0 these are some of the key ingredients or you can say the key aspects we focus on specifically connectivity cloud system right where you uh, store your data right then you have design principles we have supporting technologies design principles we discussed uh, four major ones from trans uh, interoperability right these are some of the key uh, design principles which we are focused on when we are implementing the industry 4.0 then you have supporting technology almost nine of them major ones we discussed m2m technologies there iot is there right cloud computing big data autonomous robotics are there so all of these ingredients comprises of the framework general framework of industry 4.0 and some of the key uh, aspects 
of the day-to-day -day operations starting from the collections, analysis, right, management, as well as processing is enabled through cloud computing, clear, networking and communication technology. So this is whole framework of Industry 4.0. It is not the standard one, but it operates on similar fashion. But you can say that <clears throat> if you want to implement Industry 4.0, you start with this kind of framework. So that's all from today's lecture. In this lecture, we have discussed the framework. What is the framework of Industry 4.0? What is it used for? We, we started with IBM framework, right? Where IBM is a leading PC manufacturer, <coughs> you know, which is a leading company in the PC technology. Right? They have also uh, proposed a framework. And we also discussed uh, one of the reference books uh, framework. So how do you implement through some of the key technologies as well as the ingredients? You combine them to get the framework of the industry 4.0. And this framework will be useful when you are implementing as a company, when you are implementing the industry 4.0. So in next lecture, we will be discussing about the technology roadmap of Industry 4.0. Till then, thank you.